Alpine skiing would only be a distant dream for many of the people you're about to see here. But as new specialist Andrew Adams shows us, emerging technology developed right here in Utah is helping them experience the thrill of the slopes at the highest levels. On a picture-perfect day at Powder Mountain. Number two, Dustin, is in the start. It almost looked like a typical race. Three, two, one, go! go. But the entrance Hi. were anything but typical. Uh, yeah, I've, I've never ski raced before, for sure. I skied, but not ski raced. It was only the second renewal of the Tetra Ski Express. A race with a towering list of storylines. The racers are athletes with complex physical disabilities. We are doing fun new stuff. Becca Farewell used to be a skydiving instructor before an accident. Got dragged across the ground and landed on my head at the end and broke my C3, C4 vertebrae. The Tetra Ski put these aspiring athletes on an entirely different trajectory. Some of the athletes are using sip and puff to control the ski that they are skiing. Three, two, one. You basically sip air in, puff air out. Ski steers to the left, to the right. Technology developed in Utah with the help of a very special patient. So Brian McKenna was our test pilot, and he was out there when the ski was not very good. And unfortunately, he passed, and we thought it was fitting uh, to name this race after him. I had two almost perfect runs, so that last gate got me. The hope someday to develop Tetra skiing into its own Paralympic event while inspiring these athletes. This is perfect. To achieve at the highest levels. The energy was awesome. People were stoked. It was just a super fun race to do. Well, the Tetra Ski event is growing. We were told six states and Canada were represented today. And next year, France and Switzerland come online with additional qualifying races. Back to you. Yeah, that technology is incredible. You can see the joy it brought them, too. I love that. Andrew, great story. Thank you.